Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly August 28th to September 3rd tarot reading. This is I tend, I tend to do love readings, but we will see what comes up. What do you have for Libra? Thank you to all the subscribers, watchers, comments, shares. I appreciate all your support. And I love the comments. I'm sorry I don't have time to reply to them all. I get so many. Libra, 28th through September 3rd. Can't pretend anymore. About something. Can't pretend. Can't ignore the situation. All right, so it looks to me like, um, you know, there's something that's happening here that is regarding your happily ever after. Perhaps you've been having your defenses up. Um, perhaps there was another person involved and you were waiting for somebody to um, move out of a relationship and comes towards you because there's a soulmate connection. Perhaps you feel it. Maybe you have been just uh, waiting and waiting and just kind of like um, keep be restraining yourself, okay? You've been restraining yourself from um, acting and you've just been ignoring. There's been delays and you've just been waiting for this happily ever after. Now, this is going to resonate with some of you. It may not resonate with all. This may not happen for every single one of you. Okay, this is probably going to happen for a percentage, all right? Um, I do see that there's been some restraint where you have been restraining yourself from um, acting because I think that you feel a soul can make connection with somebody. I think there is a soul make connection with somebody, but that person perhaps hasn't been um, giving you the time. Perhaps they haven't been accepting your love, but the attraction is very, very strong and it's probably karmic. Okay. So I think there's a karmic attraction here between you and another person. Um, I think there's a chance for a very comfortable, happy home. Um, you know, where there's a lot of abundance, a lot of love, a lot of nurturing, a lot of security and stability. Um, but I think that you're, you've, um, it's almost like you're against it. I mean, you're not against it, but you are against it. Okay. Or maybe they're the ones that are against it. Maybe they're the ones that aren't really seeing it, um, at, for what it is. It looks like there's definitely been some impulsive behavior, okay? There's been some impulsive behavior here that has shaken up your foundation. Um, I think there's definitely a sexual attraction between you and somebody. Could be a fire sign, could be an air sign. Um, we have inner conflicts. I think those, inner, those conflicts are inner conflicts. I think they're yours. Maybe the other person's as well. I think that, you know, there's a lot of confusion here. And... This is the week of the 28th through the 3rd. Um, and there's delays. And like there always is. It seems like there's always delays. And you are you have been restraining yourself, which is which has been hard for you. Because I, I know that you see the truth of the situation. And perhaps the other person isn't seeing it. And you're just waiting for them to come to you. Okay? Um... And I think that there is, I mean, there is a mutual attraction here. There definitely is a mutual attraction, but something is holding them back from stepping into that next chapter, okay? 
Um, but there's a lot of destiny here and karma. So whoever this person is that you're thinking about as I'm reading this, that is, it's karma. It's a karmic relationship, okay? Um, and even though they may not see it, they may not see it, it is a karmic relationship. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to be in your future, but everything you've had with them up to this point was here for a reason, okay? Definitely, because this is a karmic relationship, whoever this is, whoever you're thinking about right now as I'm reading these cards, okay? I, there's a lot of attraction, a lot, mutual. It's a mutual attraction, a mutual connection, okay? That is something that is... Um, it's it's like a soul it's like a soulmate. I think that you know there's a soulmate connection here. Now I believe that we have several soulmates in a lifetime. I think that there's been some impulsive behavior. There might have been even been some um, strong words that have been said that um, has caused someone to leave. You know, and you've been waiting for them to come back. This is for the week, though. I wonder, you know, it's about restraint. I think that you're still restraining yourself from um, communicating. You've been waiting for the seeds to grow. You certainly have. And good fortune is on your side. <clears throat> it is. So that's great. If the connection can't be broke. Okay, the connection can't be broke. If it's a karmic destined connection, it can't be broke. Okay, so you do have good luck on the horizon with these two cards right here. You, there is good fortune in your future. But here we have you feeling trapped in a situation. You feel like you're stuck somewhere, that you can't spread your wings, like you can't move forward. When the, Or maybe it's them. That could be them. They could be the ones that are that are stuck in a situation and they can't get out. Okay, maybe they're they're stuck because of financial responsibilities, and they feel like they're trapped there. And that's it's really, you know, that's their own inner conflict is they're feeling trapped, but they're not. But they feel like they are, and they're they're maybe they're holding on to financial security rather than love. Maybe the, you know they they there's love over here and there's financial stability over here, so. I think that um, there's forward movement in the in in your direction. I think good luck is on the way, good fortune is on the way, but it's coming slowly. All right. I think that you the seeds were planted a long time ago, long before this you even came to this earth, because it's karmic, it's destiny. Seeds were planted very, very, very long time ago, and they're still coming to fruition. There's, it's still coming, okay? But it is coming, okay? It is coming. Um, I do see that you are learning. I think this was definitely a karmic lesson, and that you are, you have learned from it. You're still learning from it, and you have grown from it, and. Um, one more card. It could lead to a commitment. It could. It probably will. Because the connection is so divine. The connection is so deep. You cannot. It's unbreakable. So this is for Libra. So I think that it hasn't come yet. I think it's still working. I think the seeds have been planted. I think that this week is a week about restraint. Because I think that you're still restraining yourself from from freaking out over the situation. I think that there's delays, there has been delays, but there's no more. I think that the situation cannot be ignored because the soulmate connection is so deep and there's so much love over here and eventually this person is going to realize it, okay? And they're gonna realize that they can fly away, all right? So that's what I think, I think that they might realize that they can fly away from the situation they can fly away from the commitments okay they can um i see some communication here so perhaps they're going to communicate with you because you're underneath here you know i see that you and this other person will be communicating now i see a fire sign and i see a air sign um, I see a Gemini. 
a Virgo. Um, it really could be any sign because we all have different aspects in our charts. You know, it really could be any sign. But whoever this is, I think that they're stuck in a situation due to money. Okay? And that they really can't move forward to a commitment with you because or they think they think they can't. That's exactly what it is. They think they can't because some kind of financial burden is holding them back. But the fact of the matter is, is that they're, the love is over here where, you're, where you are. They feel the connection with you. So I just think that things are still, um, still, there's delays. There is delays. But I think there's a deep connection with you and somebody else. And I think that it can't be ignored. So I think there's going to be some kind of communication because, or there's a want for communication because... I see you restraining yourself. You're waiting for this person to come to you. And I think that's a good message for you. Continue to restrain yourself. Make sure you do restrain yourself. Okay? Because that's going to... Absence makes the heart grow fonder. I think the more you restrain yourself, the better chance you're going to have of them communicating with you. I would say, don't give up. And that is what I have, Libra.